All right. I think I saved up. That's 50, 60, 60 rows for the banner. And I also kind of want to roll the weapon banner too, but I'm not sure if the weapon is worth it. Let me just give it a read first. Increases attack by 16%, and when normal or just attack hits opponents, the character gains a Siege of Whisper. Okay, when you possess four stacks, all of them will be consumed, and all nearby party members will obtain the whatever effect for 12 seconds. Increases normal attack speed by 12%, increases attack damage by 20%, and once it's triggered, you cannot gain sigils for another. So it's a 20 second lockout. Uh, Okay. That's pretty good. And it's a uh, physical damage secondary. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, the fact that it gives attack speed on claymore users is pretty strong, right? Because claymore users hits hard, but they have like really low attack speed to, to begin with. Yeah, this could be a good weapon to roll for. Yeah, I think I might go for it if um I look out. Wait, what's, what does the other one do? Increased attack by 20%, triggers on taking damage, uh, regen HP, and basically thorn mouth with a 15 second lockout. Okay, and this is a sword, right? Okay, I mean, it's okay. 20% is pretty good. Um, the HP regen is okay, I think. I don't know how you just what it's gonna be. Like, I feel like you just try not to get hit, right? Like by dodging, so yeah, let's go for it. Oh wait, I forgot to turn on the audio. Okay, nice, it's a, it's only a purple roll, okay. Oh, yikes, okay, got a Chinese boy. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, Kind of a weak start, but you know we've got we've got 50 more rows. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, FF, 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 FF. How do I skip this? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my yikes! FF, what is this? <laughs> No, 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 we got 40 more rows, 40 more rows. Double rainbow, no. Uh, okay, 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 30 more, 30 more. Okay. Okay, it's another purple, okay. I mean, okay, it's a book. Okay, we got another character. That's okay, I guess. Uh, okay, so what? That's like 20, 19, 19 rows, I think, right? If we, if we got Kiki on the first row just now, then we have we're 19 rows deep into the banner, or not into the banner, into the pity. 19 rows. Uh, 39 rows. Oh, wait, oh, what? what is this? Nah. This has got to be a prank, dude. Wait, it's gonna be Yula, no? Is it this one? I can feel it. it's this one. No, it's not this one. Okay. <gasps> oh my eye, Pog. Pog. We didn't get trolled. We didn't get trolled by the pity. Holy crap, dude. Oh, okay, nice, 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 nice. What is this? Okay. Okay, wait. What does Kiki Constellation 2 do? Uh, normal and charge attack against opponents affected by ice is increased by 15%. That's whatever. I mean, yeah, that's whatever. I'm, I'm never gonna use her, anyways. Okay. Alright, what does her C2 do? Every time ice type. Ice-type vortexes, green card stacks are consumed. 
Eula's physical damage is increased by 30% for 6 seconds. That is pretty strong. What the hell? That is actually pretty strong. Each stack consumed will increase the duration of this effect by 6 seconds up to a maximum of 18 seconds. So it extends the duration, but it doesn't increase the effect. But 30% is already really strong, though. It might be worth getting it, honestly. Oh my god. Dude. Look at that ass. Oh my god. Wait. I got so lucky there. Holy crap. Okay. Dude, I'm feeling it, dude. I'm feeling it. I'm gonna get the SSR open, too. I'm calling it now. Okay. My mouse keeps on DCing for some reason. Um, no, excuse me. Okay. Do we level her first? Now nah, let's let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Okay. We've got ten rows left, guys. Okay, let's roll the weapon banner. Yeah, the weapon is pretty strong. I think I think it's worth. Come on. Uh, I mean... I mean... That's okay. That's okay. Honestly, we take those, man. Two SSRs in, what, 60 rows? That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay. Uh, do I have enough to get her all the way to... Second ascension. Wait, what is this? Or not? Not second ascension. Uh, final ascension. I mean. Uh, oh, it's gonna be close. Oh wait. Oh my god, it looks so nice. What is this, man? What is this? Pog. Oh, Okay, where's the ice one? I need... How many? I mean, I guess I just craft all of them, right? Because, um... Yeah, I don't have any characters with bonuses. Because I'm gonna need this later on anyways, for, um... The final phase. How are you looking at, dude? You're looking at a Eula, dude? What are you looking at? Hmm? Oh, she gets crit damage as her um, ascension bonus. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so the do, the do these give crit then? It does ice damage, gains a stack, stacks up to two times, once every zero point three seconds. What's the cooldown on this thing? What is the cooldown on her e? Four seconds. Oh, that's pretty long. Holy crap. Uh, increases resistance to interruption and defense. That's pretty good. Uh, consumes all stacks, deals ice damage. They have stacks are consumed. They have reduced physical and ice resistance. Okay, I, did, I didn't know about that. Uh, each consumed stack will be converted into a ice world brand that deals ice damage to nearby opponents. Okay. Um, okay, so that doesn't give crit. What about this? Dealing ice damage to nearby opponents and creating a life force sword that follows her around for a duration of up to 7 seconds when present. The, the sword increases her resistance to interruption. I, I, like, I don't know, like, she, she gets a lot of, um, cancel, uh, resistance, but, or interrupt resistance, but, does she really need that? I don't think she needs that even, right? Like, I, I'd much rather get, like, increased, um, attack, or, like, increased defense or something, or even increased attack speed, because attack speed is broken. Uh, when you lost on normal attack, elemental skill, and but uh, first deal damage to opponents, they will charge their sword, which can gain an energy stack once every 0.1 seconds. So once the duration ends, the sword will descend and explode violently, dealing physical damage to nearby opponents. Damage skills and a number of energy stacks. Uh, if she leaves the field, so I, I'm I'm guessing I remember seeing this on the trailer. I'm guessing this is just when she's tagged out, not like the sword is like a AOE zone around her. I mean, maybe it's both, right? Uh. Yeah, so she doesn't have any innate crit, so I guess you gotta build crit to make use of her passive, or make use of her, um, um, 
Ascension Talent for Ascension Bonus. That's kind of trash. Yeet! Okay, um... <laughs> no, wait! What don't happen. What is this? Wait, I thought I had enough. Oh no. Okay, um... I guess we're not getting the final phase today. I mean, I guess 12... Uh, can I farm 12 in one session? Is there is there enough uh, dandelions around? Okay, so I need six of this. That should be pretty easy. I need sixteen of the masks. So sixteen masks and six um ice thing. Okay. Tell me. A <gasps> yes. Go 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 go. Hey, got it, dude. Oh my god. Let's go. Fully ascended. Nice. Is there a point? Should I even do this? Like, I don't need to, right? I could just, like, passively gain EXP from just doing random stuff. Cause like I feel like the levels don't give you that much actually. Like, sure, any bits that you gain from your base stat is gonna help. Like, whatever you gain from leveling up is gonna be more than what you get. More than. Oh wait, let me rephrase that. Like the value you get from leveling up. Um, it's gonna be more than the stat that you see increase from, you know, level to level because. These extra numbers also feed into the multipliers of your basic attack and your abilities and whatnot right so yeah so like maybe if you gain 10 10 attack it's not just 10 bonus damage on your autos it's like 10 bonus damage scaled by whatever multiplier in your talent in your basic attack and your everything so it actually matters quite a bit but i feel like it's more important to I mean, like, leveling up gives you more bonus in the HP department than it does in, like, the damage department. I, th I think damage is mostly down to, um, that is a lot of, she has five hits, okay. That is a lot of, um, numbers. Um, what's it gonna say? Like, like, the levels themselves benefit, um, tankiness more than damage anyways, and, like, this game doesn't really care about tankiness, right? You just want to kill them as quickly as possible. Um, so yeah, there's no reason to farm for... I need to go back to town. Uh, there's no reason to farm for, um, tanky stats. Unless you're, like, trying to build a tank, which there's no reason to, because it's PvE, and PvE games is all about, like, just clearing the waves as fast as possible anyways. Yeah, she, she gains a lot of value out of, um, basic attack and modifiers, because she's a physical heavy damage dealer, and she's probably gonna be using physical based on artifacts anyways 200% multiplier holy crap i wish there was like a option to just like ascend multiple levels at once because like like this is pretty this is pretty neat. okay let's actually read what's going on skill damage i think that's the initial cast the base damage is 500% okay damage per stack and how many stacks can you get Sure, cap. So there's no cap. Really? There's no cap? It doesn't look like there's a cap. Up to 7 seconds and then there's like a 0 0.1 second uh, cooldown between each stack. I mean, you're never gonna get that close to, to proccing it anyways, right? Because auto, auto cancel, auto, it, that's gonna take like one second maybe two right so yeah so you're probably realistically only gonna get seven to eight stacks but that's like 800 percent extra damage man that's pretty nuts 800 percent damage what is this dude uh we i kind of want to get like a weapon for her oh, just a second Um, uh, yeah, 
uh, well, just a second. I gotta do something real fast. Where's my Where's my scene? Oh, there it is. Okay. Just a moment. See the play. Oh, whoa, whoa! Look, well, we're back in the gacha, dude. What the hell? Okay. Um. Wow. Wait, we've got um extra gems to use. What? Dude, let's go. All right, let's get some uh, weapons here. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, we got Bennett and a weapon banner. Okay. Oh, we got two. We got Rust too. Rust is pretty good. Uh. Yeah, Rust is pretty good. Okay, so we get a uh, twenty more rows. Okay. <gasps> oh! Okay. Okay. Oh my! Okay. Worth. Worth. It was so worth. Holy moly! Okay, wait. Oh, dude, that's pretty good. That's pretty worth. What? Get the clutch. Um. The, the the extra pay to pay to use gems coming in clutch dude. Okay, so now we got a weapon. And we're out of gems. I oh, just kidding, we, we still got like ten more ten more rolls, right? I think we still I think we still do. Right. Yeah we still do. Yep, let's let's roll one more. Why not, right? Let's see if we can get a double rainbow. Double rainbow. Let's go. I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. Another rust though, not bad. Okay, though. I mean, we get Eula and we get her weapon, so that's pretty good. I mean, I think it's a dub, dude. It's a hard dub. What is this? My mouse is actually just dying. Damn, dude, that's pretty sick. Um, I don't know if I have the materials for it though. Like, what does it use to ascend? I mean, I've never farmed this before. Like none of my weapons ever use that material, so I've never farmed it before. Like I, I use mostly like Claymore users, and I have um, Fisho and Venti's weapon raised, but <laughs> Wait, is it available to farm for today? Like, it's not. It's oh god. Is it tomorrow then? I, I don't think I've seen it on Saturdays. I think it might be a Sunday only thing. I mean. Or not Sunday, uh, it, it might be like, on, I, I mean Sunday you can have access to all the dungeons, right? So it's going to be on Sunday for sure. Uh, I think it might be like available on Monday next, on a regular day. Uh, I mean, well I guess we just got to wait then. Okay, for, for now this weapon is pretty unusable, right? If you compare it to, you know, the one I've been using on, sorry that's not where I wanted to go. Uh, the one I've been using a razor. So, I mean, we'll, we'll we'll use this for now, and then once we get the levels, we will go back to um. Well, well once we get the levels on this weapon, we'll bring it back. Okay, but like, oh, dude. this was a this was a happy banner, dude. Am I supposed to kill this? Wait, um, excuse me? Why am I doing 400 damage? Oh, wait, I don't have any artifacts. <laughs> I was like, what? what are these numbers? The hell are those? Okay, um, cryo, I mean, I think we want physical, right? We want physical or just pure attack damage? You cannot go wrong with attack damage, honestly, right? I mean, uh, Gladiator should be fine. You cannot go wrong with Gladiator, honestly. Because, um... Oh. Wait. Uh, okay. I guess I gotta... <laughs> honestly, but like... Like... Honestly though, like, I, I haven't really used a Yula yet properly. Like, with a full kit and whatnot. Like, full fully geared and... You know, actually fighting on element. But I feel like... Dulac is... Just 
way too strong, man. Like, he's too good of a character. I don't know. Like, his rotations are fast. He has high damage. He has really de decent um, attack speed for, like, a Claymore user. What is there to hate, honestly? Oh, I just boosted my habits. Just got cancelled, man. Dude, if I was Yula there, I would have gotten cancelled. Yula best champ. Best champ. Dude, she didn't get cancelled. She cannot get cancelled, man. She can't get cancelled, dude. Dude, she's the perfect counter to the can cancel culture. Wait, is this thing dead or what? Um. It, well, it's kind of funny though, like, right, like, Yula and cancel culture because, I mean, it's kind of not funny because it's kind of yikes how, like, the whole thing is started to begin with, but like, you know how there's, like, people just complaining about, like, Yula saying that the character should be, like, changed or whatever because her backstory involves, like, slavery or something, like, it's, it's, it's just dumb, like, people are just outraged for, like, outrage, it's not really anything that they really care about, like, personally. Um. What else is this? Some stuff? Um, what? Okay. Start the fire. Yeah, like, they're outraged at her and try to cancel her, but you know, she cannot be cancelled, man. She cannot be interrupted. <laughs> it's perfect. It's like they're prepared, dude. Like, it's it's like Mihoyo knew that like the character is gonna get like backlash from her backstory for no reason, and they're just gonna be like, yep, we're just gonna make a character that's all about not getting cancelled. How fitting for the current um, social climate. Honestly, like, best character, man. Best character, uh, appearance-wise, kit-wise, is not so bad so far. Um, and like, m like meta-contextually, like, she's just amazing. She's just the best white woman. It's the waifu squad, guys. This is the waifu squad. Uh. <laughs> I made the team, but I forgot to switch to it. Yo, what the hell is that? That NPC's face, man. <laughs> uh, no, do what? Yo, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What is this man? Dude, it's too loot, dude. What is this character? Oh my god. My god. Uh What? What is the cooldown? So the cooldown is four seconds with unknown the cast, right? That's four seconds? What about hold? Ten seconds. What is this? <laughs> Ten seconds. I think we're done. Well, I think we're done with Genshin for now. I mean, I kind of wanna. Okay, let let's think about this rationally, right? Do we need C two? Do we need it? Because, how often are we actually going to consume this stack? I feel like this is only going to be useful, like, not useful, but practical, if you have CQ. Because I think the only way to consume the stacks is by casting her... her E again. Does this consume... stacks? It does not. So yeah, you can only consume the stacks by using her E. So... Theoretically, or like, in practice, you're only gonna get one stack. But it doesn't matter, because... When you get the stack, you get the damage steroid. 
and getting more stacks doesn't do anything for you except for extending the duration. Right? Because I don't think this thing has a lockout. It doesn't say it. If it if it does have a lockout, it should say it. If it doesn't, it, I mean, if it has a lockout and it doesn't say it, then it's just garbage. It's complete garbage, um, game design wise and clarity wise. So if it does have a lockout, then it doesn't matter that our stack times out. We can just get it back again later in like ten to fourteen seconds. I think this is worth. With this, it will be even better. And then this thing is just pretty meh. Like, I, honestly, this and this, like, these two are just complete garbage. Like, there's such a waste of time. Um, what does this do again? This is Glacial Illumination. So that's the, that's the oot. Oh my, Papega. <laughs> Completely worthless. Okay, how about this? Light, light, light fall source deal 25% increased damage against opponents with less than 50%. So let's execute. It's an execute, the opposite of Dulak, which is fine. It makes sense, right? Because this only applies on her ultimate, unless her E can also generate like false swords. Yeah, it's not a life false sword. Only this is. Only this is. So it only amplifies her ultimate. So so her C4 is actually really trash, I think. But, but oh, okay, but like 25% of like 45% additional damage of this thing is gonna be no joke either, right? Because this thing does so much damage. But in practice, it's not the best. What about this? Noble obligation. That's just that's so lame. That's such a lame name. Like this is like the worst part uh, about her kit. I feel like like this should be called noblesse oblige, not noble obligation. Like what the hell is that? Who says that even? Like what? What is this? Okay. Life force was created by glacial illumination. Start with five stacks of energy. Roll more text. Is there a cap? Is there a cap? Because if there's a cap at five, then it makes sense that you know. It becomes harder to. I have a fifty percent chance to get a stack. That's like nothing, man. That's nothing. Like she hits so quickly, anyways. She's gonna get those stacks like in no time. But that's never gonna happen for us. No, like that. That's not gonna. That's not gonna matter at all because at most we're gonna get a C one, right? Or C two, whatever. Yeah, it's C one. C one. At most we're gonna get C one, right? So, um, yeah, now that, you know, we've come to the conclusion that it's pretty decent, I'll be right back. Okay, well, uh, you know, you can do the math and you can see that I got the biggest pack, um, because, you know, I got big balls and can't lie. Um, yeah, let's do a summon in our house. Excuse me? What else did- What?! There's inventory management in this video game?! No. No. You have got to be joking me. What is this? Artifacts. I'm capped out on artifacts. Okay. Um, that's fine. Defense kick nobody. Oh, I hate. Yeah, I hate this system so much, man. This is like those like typical Korean like RPG system. You can you can see this in like stuff like uh uh well it's not just Korean, right? You can see this kind of stuff in Diablo three as well, right? Uh, you can see this kind of stuff in Diablo three and Lost Ark. Like I say Korean because the Korean games do this the most, right? Um, Lost Ark does this. E seven does this. Or oh, Epic Seven does this. That's like another got um Korean mobile game. Uh, Countersight does this. Speaking of Countersight, I need to, you know, pro progress on Countersight. Give me just one moment. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't get it. Like, like, like the system, the, the system that I'm talking about here is farming for equipment and rolling the dice on their attributes. Like, farming the equipment itself is okay like that is kind of normal like it's kind of expected at this point like in a video game but like 
rolling the stats, the primary stats, is one thing, but rolling all these secondary stats is just complete pain in the ass, and it's like, it's such a artificial way to get the players to grind. I, it, it is, it, I, I don't like it. It, it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate this system so much, like, uh, okay, granted, for Genshin at this point, like, side stats, second, or secondary stats don't matter that much, like, it's not like a... It's not like game breaking if you have like a bad roll on your secondary stats. As long as your primary attribute is good and you have like a decent level, you can make do with it for the most part of the game. Um, yeah, pretty good. You know what would make things even better? If we got a Eula right now. That's right. Dude, it's this Chinese boy again, man. I just got pissed off. Like suck my balls, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. What? 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 Yo. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> you clip it, clip it, and ship it, dude. Oh my god, that was the most casual five star road I've ever seen in my life, dude. I just like skipped it because I thought I wasn't gonna get it, and then bam, there you go, there you go, C1 Eula. I swear we gotta get C6 Eula, man. So, no, 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 I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Unless. Double rainbow? Every time I said that, it, it, it didn't work. Like, I don't I don't know why I try. I don't know why I try, like, just making it, you know. I mean, I mean okay, here's the thing though, right? You gotta keep doing it. Because if it, if it hits, it's gonna be a major crit, man. It's gonna be like a, like a huge... Huge clip, man. You know, it's, you're investing. You're investing in the in the clip potential. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, I I I I think I got lucky enough. Well, okay. Well, if you know, if we do get Eula, or I mean, you know, if I do decide to roll for Eula again. Um. I'll remember to record it, but for now, I think we're done. Oh, oh my eyes! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Damn! I mean, I'm pretty happy with the rose. I gotta say, I'm I'm really happy with the rose, for sure, like hundred percent. Now it would be funny if I streamed all this and my mic was off. The entire time. Nope, it's not okay. <laughs> uh, okay, well, okay, we're we're done. 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 We're